Helen Hayes, a prominent figure in Hollywood, has left an undeniable mark on the entertainment industry. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with her performances or are intrigued by lesser-known facts about this iconic actress. In the upcoming discussion, we'll delve into some interesting, funny, shocking, and even sad aspects of Helen Hayes' life and career. Keep watching to uncover these facets and feel free to share your own stories and memories in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? We would love to hear from you. Stay tuned for an exploration of the fascinating world of Helen Hayes. Helen Hayes, a prolific figure in the world of acting, boasts a filmography rich with diverse roles, leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. For those new to her work, exploring this multifaceted career can be a captivating journey. One of the most renowned projects is the iconic film Airport, where a compelling performance as Ada Quonset showcases versatility in portraying strong and memorable characters. This gripping disaster film is a must-watch for fans. In the realm of classic cinema, Anastasia stands as a testament to enduring talent. The portrayal of the title character earned acclaim, and the film remains an intriguing exploration of historical drama. For those seeking a more contemporary gem, A Farewell to Arms is a captivating option. A nuanced performance in this romantic drama adds depth to the complex narrative, making it a cherished piece in the filmography. Another gem worth exploring is The Sin of Maidlan Claudette, a film where an intricate portrayal earned the Academy Award for Best Actress. This early work showcases the ability to etch deeply moving characters into the annals of cinematic history. As fans embark on a journey through the filmography, Aerosmith stands out as an iconic collaboration. Captivating presence enhances this adaptation of Sinclair Lewis' novel, making it an essential watch for those appreciating contributions to film. In conclusion, the filmography is a vibrant tapestry of performances spanning various genres and eras. For an introduction to the work, Airport, Anastasia, A Farewell to Arms, The Sin of Maidlan Claudette, and Aerosmith are must-watch movies that resonate with the timeless allure of the craft. Helen Hayes, the acclaimed actress, faced a relentless pressure to defy the natural course of aging. Throughout her career, she confronted the industry's demand for eternal youth, compelling her to navigate a delicate balance between the passage of time and the perpetual quest for youthfulness. This pressure, intrinsic to the entertainment world, exemplifies a significant struggle that transcends the spotlight. Beyond the superficial expectations, she grappled with the enduring challenge of maintaining authenticity in an industry often characterized by pretense. The constant scrutiny and expectations placed upon her exemplify the multifaceted nature of the struggles faced by those in the public eye. The tension between personal identity and the public persona added an extra layer of complexity to her journey. In the broader context of life, Hayes encountered numerous trials, both professional and personal. The public eye's unrelenting gaze sometimes obscured the private battles she fought. Balancing the demands of a successful career with the need for personal fulfillment underscored the intricacies of her life's tapestry. In summary, the renowned actress, known for her contributions to the cinematic realm, grappled not only with the external pressures of eternal youth, but also with the internal struggle for authenticity and balance. Her story serves as a testament to the challenges faced by individuals navigating the complex landscape of fame, aging, and personal identity. Devoting herself to her adopted son, James, who intermittently attended St. Anne's in Nyack, NY, Helen Hayes navigated a unique path in her personal life. Notably, she achieved a rare distinction in the world of acting, being one of the few to win an Oscar for a supporting role after securing one for a leading role. Hayes faced health challenges, frequently grappling with asthma attacks exacerbated by backstage dust during her theatrical pursuits. Ultimately, asthma forced her to conclude her stage career, prompting a shift towards films and television. However, this transition didn't mark the end of her contributions. She channeled her energy into writing books and fundraising for organizations combating asthma. In the aftermath of her impactful acting career, Hayes' life took an unexpected turn, shaped by personal and health experiences. These facets, from her devotion to her son to her unique Oscar achievements and battles with asthma, illuminate the various dimensions of her journey extending beyond the stage. Navigating through personal and professional highs and lows, Hayes' story unfolds with a nuanced simplicity, revealing a woman who, despite challenges, continued to contribute to the world of entertainment and health causes.
It's a narrative that goes beyond the spotlight, resonating with the realities of life and the diverse roles one may undertake. Helen Hayes, a pioneering actress, secured her place in history as the fifth woman to clinch the Best Actress Oscar, a groundbreaking achievement attributed to her role in The Sin of Maidlon Claudette, her inaugural venture into talking films. Notably, she portrayed a prostitute, marking a departure from conventional roles. This early success set the stage for a remarkable career. Adding to the distinction, she stands among a select group of actors with a 2-0 winning record in the Oscar acting category. Her victories for The Sin of Maidlon Claudette and Airport place her alongside accomplished peers, including Louise Reiner, Vivian Lee, Kevin Spacey, Hilary Swank, Christoph Waltz, and Mahershala Ali. This rare feat underscores her enduring impact on the cinematic landscape. Beyond her professional achievements, Hayes played pivotal roles in personal spheres. A mother to stage actress Mary MacArthur, who tragically passed away at the age of 19 in 1949, she embraced motherhood on multiple fronts. Her commitment extended to adopting James MacArthur, fostering a unique and enduring bond with her adopted son. With a career spanning over 80 years, Helen Hayes stands as a pioneering figure in the entertainment industry. Beginning as a child actress at the age of five, she evolved into a preeminent stage performer, earning the title of the First Lady of the American Theater. Notably, she holds a distinguished place among the exclusive group of EGOT recipients, having secured an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony, a feat accomplished by only 15 individuals in competitive categories. Her journey commenced in the world of acting at a remarkably young age, laying the foundation for a prolific and enduring career. Beyond her achievements on stage and screen, Hayes' legacy extends to her unique standing as an EGOT awardee, a testament to her exceptional talent and contributions across various realms of entertainment. Helen Hayes, a name synonymous with the American theater, navigated a path few have trodden, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. From her early days as a child actress to her historic EGOT status, her narrative unfolds as a captivating journey through the multifaceted landscape of entertainment. It's a tale that resonates with the complexities of a career that spanned generations, etching her name into the annals of history. Securing the Best Actress Oscar in 1932 for The Sin of Maidlon Claudette, Hayes carved her place in history as one of the early trailblazers in the film industry. This groundbreaking achievement marked the beginning of a remarkable career spanning over eight decades. Notably, she shares the honor of winning the Oscar for Best Actress with a select few, including Louise Reiner, Vivian Lee, Kevin Spacey, Hilary Swank, Christoph Waltz, and Mahershala Ali. Beyond cinematic triumphs, Hayes played a key role in the inaugural Tony Awards ceremony in 1947, joining the League of Winners alongside Jose Furrer, Frederick March, Ingrid Bergman, Arthur Miller, Patricia Neal, Aaliyah Kazan, and Agnes DeMille. This early recognition set the tone for enduring impact on the American theater. In a unique tribute, her likeness graced a commemorative postage stamp issued in her honor on 25 April 2011. Priced at 44 cents on the day of its release, this stamp stands as a tangible acknowledgement of her contribution to the world of entertainment. However, the narrative also delves into the personal dimensions of her life. Her friendship with Joan Crawford, detailed in the memoir My Life in Three Acts, reveals a complex dynamic. While acknowledging their friendship, she did not shy away from describing Crawford's parenting style as strict, even bordering on cruelty. This candid revelation provides a glimpse into the intricacies of relationships, adding a layer of depth to her public persona. In conclusion, Hayes' journey, marked by groundbreaking achievements and personal revelations, reflects a nuanced and impactful presence in both cinematic and personal spheres. From her early Oscar win to her role in shaping the Tony Awards, the story resonates as a testament to lasting influence on entertainment. It's a tale that goes beyond the spotlight, providing insights into the complexities of a woman who left an enduring mark on history. In a career spanning over eight decades, this distinguished actress made her mark not only on the stage and screen, but also left a lasting impact on the cinematic landscape. Notably, she played pivotal roles in three Oscar Best Picture nominees. Aerosmith, A Farewell to Arms, and Airport, showcasing versatility across different eras of film. 
Upon her passing, the lights of Broadway dimmed for one minute at 8.00 p.m., a poignant tribute to significant contributions to the world of entertainment. This simple yet profound gesture highlighted the respect and admiration earned throughout an illustrious career. In the film Anastasia, she portrayed Ingrid Bergman's grandmother, a role that defied age as she was less than 15 years older than her on-screen granddaughter. This fact not only underscores acting prowess, but also challenges conventional casting norms. A name synonymous with the American theater, she had a profound impact on the entertainment industry. From early Oscar wins to enduring presence on Broadway, the journey reflects a nuanced and impactful narrative in both cinematic and personal spheres. This is a glimpse into the life of an actress whose legacy goes beyond the spotlight, shaping the history of American entertainment. Securing Academy Award wins for both Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress, Helen Hayes achieved a unique milestone in the cinematic world. Her portrayal in The Sin of Maidlon Claudette earned her the Best Actress Oscar in 1931, setting the stage for a remarkable career. Later, in 1970, she clinched the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in Airport, solidifying her place in Oscar history. This dual triumph showcased versatility and a lasting impact in the film industry. At the age of 29, Hayes experienced motherhood with the birth of her only biological child, Mary MacArthur, to husband Charles MacArthur. Tragically, Mary succumbed to polio at the age of 19 in 1949. Despite this devastating loss, commitment to motherhood extended beyond biological ties. Adopting a son, James MacArthur, added another dimension to her maternal role. The challenges and joys of parenthood became integral to her life story. The intersection of personal and professional spheres marked her journey. From groundbreaking Oscar victories to the complexities of motherhood, the life of this iconic actress unfolded as a narrative that transcended the boundaries of the silver screen. In exploring the facets of her career and personal life, we gain insights into the woman behind the iconic performances. It's a tale that speaks of resilience, achievement, and the enduring influence of a pioneering actress in the realm of entertainment.